Good morning, I'm Mr. Opera. In this tutorial, I would like to cover the basics of paper writing. Title page should have a clear subject of interest. Any manuscript after the title page will have an abstract. An abstract is a short summary of context of your study, methods adapted, results noticed and conclusions derived. Because it should be precise and concise. When you want to write introduction to any paper, we always look at the past research which was done in that subject of interest. The previous research becomes a, a backbone for your future research. So that is why it is important to identify what are the what is not being done and what are the pitfalls you encounter so that you can, this can be transformed into next level of research and address the issues. So it's always important you connect the past with the current. So in the method section, we first talk about study design, study protocol, and then statistical methods. And if you have done a meta-analysis, data synthesis. And if you have done a systematic review, it's a qualitative synthesis. And if you have done either systematic review or meta-analysis, it's a prisma flowchart in both. And also summary tables with data extraction. Any quality assessment tables, all that can be incorporated into methodology section. The way to write up the results is also remain same order like for example if you do summary statistics like you can write summary statistics for demographics like how many studies you included how many number of patients and how many number of males how, how many number of females so and then you can write a descriptive analysis simply look at each variable summary statistics like mean median standard deviation skewness and kurtosis and summarize them that is nothing but descriptive analysis once you've done the demographics, once you've done the descriptive analysis, you need to really present your statistical hypothesis testing. It could be simply a linear regression equation, or it could be log equation, log logarithmic equations, or it could be meta regression equation. But that is the crunching point where you bang on with your results, saying that I tested my hypothesis with this equation, and this is my p-values, and I can reject or accept my alternate hypothesis. And finally, a summary of findings table. And finally, if you can represent your data into graphs and charts, that also can be incorporated into result section. The next section is discussion. Start introducing your research question again. So one paragraph, you just start with current trend and then move on to your methodology section and what are the problems you faced in methodology. Like you may have not got enough data or no data at all. Talk about it. And you say there's a heterogeneity. Talk about it. There's a missing data. Talk about it. So all pitfalls you encountered in your methodology, talk about it. Now you talk about the good points of your analysis and then talk about the negative outcomes. So a discussion is nothing but a true reflection of what you did in the paper, manuscript, from introduction to results. So the next topic is how to write conclusions. So number one, you need to remember that your conclusion should be evidence based. So your conclusion is based on statistical modeling equations. Your conclusion is based on the p-values. Your conclusion is based on the regression equations. Number two, it could be any measures of association or causation. Number three, it could be simply relative effects or it could be an observation. You can use something called epicot format, which is described by Cochrane. 